back again with Morning Serial with WYTV7, Christian's Broadcast Network. So, we're here again another day with Morning Serial. I was wondering, what if people have just joined in and they don't really know what Morning Serial is? So, let me just explain that before I get started today. So, Morning Serial is a motivational ministry for millennials. Now, what does that mean? So, myself and some others on our team from WYTV7 said that it would be awesome if we could have a specific broadcast that is specifically for millennial students. Now, even though it's for millennial students, that doesn't mean other people can't get a word and watch, but that is specifically what we wanna do. And we thought that it would be great if we had other younger millennial people like myself bro broadcasting and ministering to other people so we could relate on a different level. I just want to put that tab in there because I always say, hey, welcome to Morning Cereal. But I'm like, what if they don't know what Morning Cereal is or what's the reason for this broadcast? So just had to put that out there before I start. But anyways, so good. So happy to be back. Another day, another week. I hopefully have some good word for you, some good ministry for you. Um, I hope you take something from what I'm going to give you today. Um, Praying that God, you know, just lets the words flow out my mouth and you get, you know, touched by what I have to bring to you today. So today my message is, are you truly going for what's already promised to you? So I'll repeat that again. Are you truly going for what's already promised to you? Now, what, what am I asking? What am I talking about? So if you're a child of God, then you already know that the world is yours. God has promised you whatever, and it's yours to take. So when I ask, are you truly going for it? I'm asking, do you truly know or understand that God has promised you your wants and your desires, and he'll give that to you? You just have to go out and take it? Do you truly think about that? Now, when I was thinking about what I was going to talk about today, that message came up in my head. And then I was scrolling through my Instagram, because, you know, we're always on social media. Scrolling through my Instagram and I seen this post and it just confirmed what I wanted to talk about today. And this post is like, it's the bomb.com. Let me tell you, I'm thinking about like maybe painting it, painting the words somewhere, hanging it up on my room or something. Cause it, it, it really speaks to making sure you're going for what's already promised to you. So I'm going to read to you what this Instagram post said. It says, if the sea couldn't stop Moses, if a wall couldn't stop Joshua, if a giant couldn't stop David, and if death couldn't stop Jesus, then why would you let anything stop you from what God has promised you? And when I read that, I was like, bingo, ding, 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 ding. That is, everything about that is so true. Now, if you are familiar or aren't familiar with those different stories of the Bible, those are situations where those people in the Bible, God told them, hey, I need you to do X, Y, and Z, and this is, this is what's going to happen, and this is how it's going to happen. And those, those individuals, Moses, Joshua, um, David, they got, God, what? You, you said I'm, I'm going to beat this giant that's, like, uh, really big, and I'm really small, and you telling me that I'm going to go in and defeat him? And God was like, yeah, you're going to do that. Yeah, I'm telling you that's what you're going to do. And sure enough, Everything that God told them was going to happen, happened. Every promise that he told them that was going to be promised to them happened. And so that was just so incredible to me because God tells us whatever, whatever your desires or whatever your wants, I'll give it to you. You just have to take it. You just have to take my promises. And I know sometimes, especially like with me in our world, being young like millennials, there's just so much that seems like it's out of reach. There's things that seem like they're impossible. There's things that seem like they could never happen for you. There may be dreams or there may, may be aspirations or something that you really desire, but you have this little chip or this little voice in the back of your head that's saying, no, I don't really think I can do that. Or no, I don't really think that's what I'm supposed to do. Or I can't, I can't. You have this little voice saying, I can't. But the reality of it is that our biggest dreams and our biggest aspirations, if we pray for them, if we tell God, this is my desire, 
if we say, God, you know, I want to do this and, and have your and, and do your work while I'm doing this, those things are promised to us. So we just have to go out and get it. One example that I have for you is a personal example of myself. So I just graduated. Well, not just graduated. It's been like six, six or so, so months. But anyways, I just graduated. And so I'm looking for jobs. And I scroll through like different places, looking for jobs, looking for different um, applications. And I'll pull up an application and it says, okay, this is an entry level position, but you have to have so and so many years of experience and you have to have worked here, there, this and that, and have all of this. And I just click it off because I say, oh, I ain't qualified. I just graduated. So I, I don't got the experience. And I was talking to a friend and I was like, yeah, I'm trying to apply for these jobs, but I'm just not qualified. Like, I'm not qualified for these jobs that I want. And he told me, well, of course you're not qualified. He's like, you're not qualified for every position you don't apply for. And that really stuck to me because I'm like, he's right. Like, how, how do I know that I won't get that job? And then I thought like, oh, I, I simply forgot how my God works. Because this is how my guy works. I don't know how your guy works, but this is how my guy works. So I can apply for a job, and it says you need two to three years of experience, and you need to have this certification, and you need to have um, th this kind of experience specifically. And I can think in my head, like, I don't really have that, but I really want this job. I feel like I would be great at this job. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to apply. And how my God works, it says, yeah, you're right. You don't have that experience. You don't have those qualifications. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to let those employers see something in you that makes them think, you know what? She, she might not have the experience, but it's something about her. It's something about her spirit. It's something about her personality that I feel like she would be great for this position. So I'm going to give it to her. And that's just how my God works. And that's just another thing that you have to think about the promises that he gave you. If, if God told me, hey, I want you to, to be on TV someday, and I want you to spread the gospel for me, and I want you to use your talents that way, I can't sit back and say, well, God, I'm not qualified. Oh, I'm, I'm very qualified. I'm qualified because I have God on my side. God is all the qualification that I need. So with all that being said, of course, like I always like to have some Bible verses for you to take with you that can kind of help you remember and, and lead you to remembering. You have to go for the promises that are already promised to you. And one of those Bible verses is Isaiah 40, 29 through 31. And it says, he gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. Even youth will become weak and tired and young men will fall in exhaustion. But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. And that's just so amazing to me because it is saying that God can take the weak. He can take the powerless. He can take the impossible and make it possible. God does miracles all the time. And you have to remember that. So even though it may not look on the outside like there's, that's something you can do, if you trust in God and understand that God will give you everything that he promised, then you have nothing to worry about. Another verse that I like that people are probably really familiar with is Jeremiah 29, 11. It says, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster to give you a future and a hope. That, that, that's, that's his word right there telling you, I have plans for you. I know what I'm, I'm getting you into. I know what I want you to do. You just need to lean back on your faith and trust me that I'm going to get you there. So that's basically all that I had today. I hope that I gave someone some encouragement. Maybe you're applying for a job or maybe you are, I don't know, auditioning for a play or you want a specific part or I don't know what it may be, but you may have something in the back of your mind that's telling you that you can't, that you're not qualified, that is not yours. But you, you can't think that way. You have to speak it into existence. Speak that you know who your God is. Like I said, I don't know who your God is, but I know who my God is. That's what I do. I speak on it. So when I speak on it, 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 comes in, it comes into play. So just speak on those things. Make sure that you're truly understanding and believing that what God promised you is yours and you just have to grab it. So if you like this message, please share it. Follow us on Facebook. Like us on Facebook. You can follow me on Instagram or Facebook. I am Shaquilla O'Shea. If you want more, um, please share this message because you never know who it could touch. Hopefully it touched you. 
I hope you all have a wonderful day. I hope I gave you some motivational ministry and I will see you next time on Morning Cereal. Bye. <laughs>